back and relax. As you hear there, we've uh, kicked off, folks. So, catch me. Just take the ball back and just go to the right hand side and uh, just happy to start off with a bit of control there as they look to play back and they'll go to the keeper. And that's with Stora. He'll be looking to drive up the field and he's using that wind behind him and it's, it's not a bad one. And it's on the head with Wanderers as they look to go back into midfield and ball will just sit with Kashmir as they look to drive across to that left hand side but just a little bit scrappy there at the start. Yeah probably just a good chance to uh, roll out the lineup for the Wanderers so Matt Oliver and goal on with the back three of uh, Dylan Morris, Adam Luque and Adam Davidson, Paul Clout down the left hand side, Mark Jones down the right hand side. An early cross there from Kashmir, but it's controlled well at the back, and Wanderers will be happy with that. Nearly touched now for Oliver, and he's just happy to roll it out here to his left hand side. It's, it's good pressure there from Kashmir, but controlled well as they look to use the midfield again. But the ball's been turned over, and Kashmir again in control. Just happy to hold it now just inside their own half as they look to go up that left flank again and it's well controlled there as they look to go to the box and he's beaten his marker it's not a bad kick in but cleared well and under a little bit of pressure there's Kashmir player has a shot again Wanderer is good in defense as they control the ball at the back and now looking to get forward but there's not a lot of support for like Xavier Pratt there on his own in the midfield as Kashmir look to go square and they'll drive forward um, but controlled now by Kashmir again as they're on attack through Mitchell and finds number 32 Tyler and that's not a bad cross but it's just perhaps he would have liked to have that again yeah I think just the early stages with uh, Kashmir to uh, set up with a very solid back four as we said uh, Tom Schwartz anchoring that uh, Center of defense, Corey Mitchell just playing a, a slightly more attacking role in midfield. So uh, look for him to uh, to get forward and support number 10, Coughlin, who's uh, playing in that uh, number nine role for the Kashmir side. And a good chance here as Clout just passes back to his midfield. He's controlled in the middle now as Wanderers look to build. And they're just happy to have a bit of possession here and get some good touches on the ball. And his player's calling square, but he's just holding it now. Again, just dropping back and using Davidson. Davidson happy to just go square and Wanderers will look to come up the right hand flank now as they go with the long ball, but Kashmir player is aware of that and making a good intercept. As Kashmir looking to build, but just a little bit untidy now and some good pressure from Wanderers finds Kashmir having to make an adjustment. As Wanderers control the ball well. There's an appeal, but the ref's having nothing of that, and Andrew Lambert lets that go as Wanderers look to tidy up at the back, and, and they'll take the safe option and put it out, and they'll regroup there, and some good play there from Cashmere, Ricky. Yeah, look, attacking quite strongly down both flanks, and uh, certainly this left-hand side, where I think they've got a lot of pace and skill, and uh, just trying to link up with those front players and trying to move those two central midfield players forward as quickly as they can to get the support. So Matheson looking to fire the ball in and again some good keeping there as Oliver read that well and he just talks to his troops now as he marshals them forward. Again just looking to hold that ball at the back and Wanderers again starting to control the ball well now and good ball to feet. Good communication coming from the Wanderers side. So hold their shape. And they'll be looking to go square and they do think so and it's Paul Clout falling for the ball, but again, Kashmir just equal to their task. And there's a little bit of space there in the midfield, and he's under a good bit of pressure there, and I think the ref will bring Mitchell back. Yeah, a little bit of a tussle there, not a lot in it, but uh, Josh Signey and uh, Corey Mitchell just getting involved nice and early. And some strong defence there, and Kashmir just drive it back into the Wanderers' half as they look to bring the ball back through the keeper, and guided a little bit as we wait to see who can get control and some good contact there and the ref will say just have a look at that. Do you think just a head knock here? Um, as we know the referee's just on Lewis Reed and I think the referees now know to uh, 
initiate the whistle, just anything around that uh, area of the body. But something all sports now look at, isn't it, R Ricky? Um, I mean, we've seen lawsuits all over the place these days for the older players, and something that um, y you know, it's great to see more awareness of the of what head injuries do to people. Yeah, exactly, and I think um, you know it's, it's well scripted now, isn't it, around those sort of key concussions and, and you know, the issues that uh, that people can face with that. So, uh, good refereeing, well done, and uh, we're off again now with uh, Cashmere. So Cashmere again controlling the ball as they look to go square, and they'll control it through field as he comes down the right hand side, and he's found a little bit of space there. And he has the ball again as. Casimir looked to press, Wanderers with some good pressure there though and they have taken possession back now as we see it held in the back as he just drives over the top but it's just a little bit scrappy there as the boys just fight for it in front of us and Andrew Lambert says we'll have a stoppage Yeah, just a free kick down here on the left hand side here of Taiki just uh Receiving probably one of the best receivers in the game for me. I mean, he, he just shields the ball extremely well. On that occasion, just a uh, cashmere player just coming through the back. And as we see the Wanderers again looking to just secure the ball, and again it's picked up well at the at the back. Just holding it in midfield as the Wanderers player looks to play it square and it's an appeal, but the ref says carry on, and we'll see cashmere on attack now. As they come down the side there through Coughlin. He's in the box there, but a lot of pressure from the Wanderers players, and that's a good clearance there from eight. Lewis Reed. Yeah, I think just some early signs here. Good long throw by Cashmere, and I think just the Wanderers players just needing to be on their toes, just focusing and uh, just being aware of anything that might get played over the back quickly. Yeah, I agree with you there. They just got caught out. Um, but they'll be talking to each other there. Good communication as they look to man on man mark in that box, and it's it's good for Wanderers as they team up there. Again, you see Taguchi getting stuck in. He's not afraid to throw his weight around. There's not a lot of them as they explode down this left hand side. And they come down the touchline through Derek Tiku, and that's a great ball. And we find Paul Cloud in the corner. Hasn't got a lot of support as players look to come back, and that's a good little pass. And it's been cleared by Mitchell, he's been busy in the early play. Davidson takes the throw, and Wanderers are gaining control, find themselves in a bit of space. Still in their half, just struggling to stay in the Kashmir half at the moment, but they're in control now. As they go square again, and they're just happy to hold position here. Again, Mitchell pressing, and a good little ball in there, and just a little push from uh, number 16, Angus, and Andrew Lambert says we'll have none of that. Ricky, this is something we brought up in rugby, have you ever seen a player or coach, uh, considering you've been both, win an argument like that against a referee? No, probably not, but, uh, <laughs> it's interesting that we still see it week to week, don't we, but that's uh, no, a really valid point, I think. Um, just early frustrations, I think quarter final game, lot, lot at stake here and uh, everybody just trying to get that extra inch that they can. And as we see the ball again with um, Pratt and that's not a bad little chip in but it's been cleared up by Taguchi, he's a busy player. And a good opportunity here for Wanderers building up, they've got players in the box if they want to use them still. And they look to drive into that corner but he may have just a little bit far, but it's fallen well for them. Still chance on, but the ref will have us back here for a goal kick. And some good signs here from Wanderers, Ricky. Yeah, look, I think both sides just really getting, looking to get a, a foothold into the game. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the Kashmir side, very solid at the back, you know, as we say, with that back four. So, uh, yeah, Wanderers with the front, uh, front partnership of uh, Tiku and Xavier Pratt, just looking to find ways just to probe in behind and uh, perhaps create some goal scoring opportunities. But it's uh, been, been a good lively start with both teams. And it has been a good start as we just see the ball go out again and we'll have a throw in. And the ball will be with Wanderers as we see the Wanderers side just start to move forward. Um, Davidson with the throw as he has players coming into space but he chooses to go long and use Dirk Tiku again. And he's just good, good hustle there, making a nuisance of himself. Mitchell again, he's been heavily involved early on. 
and he looks like he's up for the challenge today. As the ball just sits at the back now, with Storer, and just happy to go square. And it's been busy out there on that left back flank side. Game with the ball, and just happy to distribute him to the middle. To Gucci again, heavily involved as he comes again down the flank, but that's a good little clearance there of Mark Jones getting a foot in. I think with Hamilton playing with those wing backs today, you've got Mark Jones down one side, uh, you've got Paul Clark coming down the left hand side, and we just put it all for them to make sure that they're, they're pushing up nice and high and shutting down the, uh, the full backs coming forward. Oh, and just a little bit scrappy at the back for Stora, but he's got good support. And that's not a bad here to clear it back into the middle. Uh, again, it sits with Mitchell in the middle and so they look to drive up and they'll be looking for number 28. He's been busy out there as he finds the ball now and it's another good little run there. He's heavily involved. He might be a bit disappointed with his cross in there to Gucci though. It's a game Wanderers holding it back and just happy to start building up again from that back left hand side. Just finding some space in the middle now and looks for an early ball as he comes square across here. Seems clout with some time. A couple of good touches and some nice interplay from Wanderers as they come up this left side creating some pressure and it's a good through ball. But uh, Kashmir just happy to hold the ball and some good interplay there. And as it sits with Matheson and he's just going to use the square ball and it's a good ball to relieve the pressure. And again Swartz goes wide. And Kashmir starting to build up again from their favourite left side. They've been busy out there today on the left hand side. Seems to be a strength Ricky. Yeah, I think with Taguchi out there, I mean, he was super through the summer and I think, um, you know, he's started this game very lively too, so it's a good player to get one-on-one -on, -one on the ball, certainly in that final third, and uh, very creative and uh, likes to take full-backs on, so look for him certainly to be very, very strong in the opening stages. Yeah, instrumental early on, as again, it sits at the back, and Stora with that big boot using the win, brings it up to halfway, and ball falls with the Wanderers side, and they're also building up down that uh, left, or their right hand side I should say, they also favour that as the ball's crossed in now, but it just falls luckily for the, the Kashmir defence, and watch this ball come back again to halfway, he's got a lot of time and his teammates are talking well to him, keeping the ball on the ground today, the Wanderers, they're just happy to use the feet, and on a pitch like this, it's a really good option. Jane sitting at the back, he's got a lot of time, Davidson. And he just fires it in, it's hard to control though. And he'll just be a bit disappointed with that. I think options now just for Hamilton, they're getting into some some good positions in that top third of the pitch and uh, just probably looking for an extra player now just to kind of link up his support and uh, just to offer another option for them going forward. Yeah, certainly looking confident Wanderers as again they build up from the back and go square, finding themselves with space as again he uses the full width of the pitch. And that's not a bad inball too by Jones. Oh, it's a, a heavy tackle and I think he's come from behind there and, and the referee's taking offence. Angus Lambert says, come back here and we'll have a little chat about it. And they're taking it quickly, Wanderers, not wanting to muck around. Again, going to the back here. And it's been busy, Davidson. Square again. Mitchell looking to press. As Wanderers again look to drive up with the long ball. And it's picked up nicely on the head as they come out towards the convox here and a bit of a long kick there, might be a bit disappointed with that and easily gives Wanda's back possession and just a little bit of rain coming in Ricky now, just a, a slight spit, a hint of a bit of damp <laughs> yeah, just saying before, wouldn't it be nice to have the covers over the concrete box, but uh, <laughs> we've got the jackets on, so we'll uh, we'll battle our way through it. But uh, now, like I say, it's been a great start on both sides, and I think the game's just starting to settle down now, and getting a little bit of rhythm. We're starting to see a little bit more of the pattern of both of the sides that they want to bring to the table for such a crucial game. Yeah, and both teams um, starting to play with a little bit of freedom now and a bit of confidence and a chance here, but. Well cleared, Stora had to come off his line and he was certainly under pressure. A little bit of uh, hesitancy from the uh, Kashmir defenders there, just as uh, 
Trasigny comes out of midfield and gets half a chance with the keeper coming late to get the clearance to safety. Yeah, I guess me I have to say have looked pretty steady in defence so far, so maybe just the first ripple there of or sign of a wanderer starting to put a bit of pressure on now. And there you have it folks, you might just be able to hear that in the background there, the one, uh, sorry, the Kashmir coach or staff just talking to them as Wanderers now build up an attack here. And he works his way into the box, he's under a lot of pressure as the Kashmir players come back to support him, but he's done well and they're holding on to the ball now as they build up outside, they've gone square as the ball sits at the back here with Paul. And Paul looks to go wide and it's not a bad pass across, it's controlled well. And Wander is just happy to build up from the outside here. And I think Kashmir will be happy with that. They've just managed to steady the course there and they've pushed them back as again it sits at the back with Davidson. And Davidson again looks to go wide as there's a little fake there as he gets through. And number five, Paul just getting himself into this left hand side. As again there's some space out to the right if Wanderers wish to use it. And just in the back now, Luca as he has a look. And some good communication there at the back from the keeper as distributes the ball up again to his right hand side. And there might be a chance here for Wanderers as they push forward through the right hand side and it's a good little flick on. And he goes square, it's a good chance for Wanderers and their best chance but some good defence there Ricky. Yeah look, uh, super defending by Cashmere but Great attacking opportunity there for the Wanderers with uh, Mark Jones doing exceptionally well down the right hand side. Bill Clout getting forward from a wide left hand position too. Just offer another uh, support role and he gets a half a strike on the target. So Wanderers just starting to get steady at the back and you can see that confidence creeping in through those, um, those mid ranks and um, it's looking good now for Wanderers. What would you what would you be saying to them, Ricky, if you could have a, a word in the area out there at the moment? I probably, I probably wouldn't get a word because my son's coaching the team. So, <laughs> um, but uh, look, I think, um, in all honesty, I think you know, Wanderers are just getting a little bit more space now in the middle of the park. And I think Lewis Reed, Philip Paul, and uh, Josh Signey are just getting on the ball a little bit more and just causing the Cashmere midfielders and, and certainly the back four a little bit more of a problem. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't agree more. I'm uh, just starting to see this wandering team, Wanderers team get a little bit more confidence. And we're just starting to see Cashmere under a little bit of pressure here now as they're holding it in, in the inside their own half. Again looking to use this right flank as they go down and Takichi gets himself across to the right hand side this time and it's been busy now but he can hear the crowd there, they applaud that and there's possibly just a bit of a simple area, he'd be disappointed with that but good pressure, Davidson fires it in. Yeah, I just think with Kashmir too I think, they look tidy when they go forward and I think um, Coughlin, Matheson, Mitchell, Taguchi, all players that can hurt us. So, uh, certainly the Wanderers defenders will need to be on their toes as well. And again it's with Kashmir as they build up down the left hand side. Uh, again some good defending there and Luke's been steady at the back now. This looks like a reasonably big big unit in that back line. Yeah Adam Luke brought in today just to anchor the centre of defence um, and alongside uh, not big players in Adam Davison and, and, uh, and Dylan as well, but uh, good football players that they can get the ball down and instigate sort of attack from in those deep positions. Yeah, we've been busy at the back so far and um, come well. Game Wanderers with the ball as they look to build up. He's under a little bit of pressure there from Mitchell, who's been busy. Wanderers just happy to hold that ball up as they go square and they find a bit of space and Davidson with the ball now, he's been busy at the back building up, just happy to switch again and Cashmere find themselves having to defend from the right hand side for them as Wanderers look to fire that ball in and it was just a little bit scrappy as there's a shot and it'll find itself just outside the middle of the box now and Wanderers still in a good position, some good build up there Ricky. Yeah, it's been good, and I think uh, Mark Jones has been excellent for these yes, early stages. You can see Sydney, great opportunity here for the uh, for the Wanderers again, coming down that right hand side very, very strongly. Louis, Louis, come on, Louis. Yeah, fantastic play from Wanderers, and they're right on attack now. I think the uh, 
position st statistics of the evening up now is number 20 there, Derek Tukio has a bit of a larap at it and um, he's a bit of a giggle to himself there as the ball fires over the back. <laughs> yeah, it was one that didn't really come down for him but um, always very, very keen to get a shot away, get, a, get an early strike on target. And, uh, but again, I just think, yeah, with the Wanderers, like Mark Jones, exceptional down the right-hand side, some better movement coming out of midfield now, just some uh, half opportunity starting to be created. Um, similar to that um, to that shot, we saw a fantastic one taken in the um, in the Olympics just recently by one of our backs, um, Liberato Picacci. Oh, yes, yeah. young boy. Um, he was, uh, if that's not uh, goal of the uh, the football tournament at uh, in Japan, I'm not sure what will be. It'll have to be uh, a real rocket to beat that one. But uh, no, super goal. Could feel the heat in Hamilton. <laughs> On that one, strike. Oh, and Kashmir there, hard on attack down the right hand side, and that's a good ball fired through. And the Wanderers defence found themselves scrambling. Um, and we'll come back, it looks like, for a goal kick. And you can just hear in the background the Wanderers boys just, just talking to each other, making sure we're all on the same page here. Yeah. So that's sort of combination we talked about too. You've got Tung coming down the right hand side, Coughlin at the top, and uh, Taguchi just coming across the near post then with a, with a nice little opportunity. So, again, just echoing the danger that Kashmir do have when they come forward. Yeah, and that was some good attacking there from them. So, some great work from both teams as we see Davidson looking to build up down this left hand flank. And there's a lot of pressure on him from Tung there. He's been Pretty solid in defence and putting pressure on today. It's like a pretty nuggety player. Game Wonder has just been happy to build up at the back here and that's where they've been building up some of their best play from. As they look to use the middle, but Cash equal to the task, holding that ball up as they look now to attack down the right hand flank. And a little bit of interplay there just holds them up, but there's some space in the middle now and they'll come across to the right hand side and tongue with the ball. He's been pretty busy as he flies back inside and good pressure from Wanderers. And you see Cashmere looking to go square again as they build up from halfway. And as the rain just starts to dribble in a little bit thicker now. And some good pressure from Wanderers and they'll be happy with that, keeping in their shape and trusted each other there. Oh, and we'll just see Andrew Lambert say none of that guys as we'll come back for a free kick. And Tung with the ball at his feet now and he happy to just drive it back there and Kashmir with the ball just building up again. And it's not a little bad, great ball through actually, and the keepers had to do a bit of good work there. Matthew Oliver was equal to the task and he was a little bit fortunate that he had some support. And that's, um, that's as fast as it can happen with Cashmere, isn't it? Absolutely, we talked about them going forward and doing very well. And again, Oliver having to come off his line just to get contact on the ball as Taguchi was advancing. And it would have been perhaps a tap in at the far post without that intervention. So again, Strong reminder to the Wanderers defenders that this side will keep coming. Yes, Takuchi, um, good chance there. He's been very busy. He looks like a handy player. Working well with Matheson now. And the ball will sit with Wanderers, and it's they're going to come back there. As it's definitely taking over the line there. A little bit cheeky from Derek. TQ there as he juggles the ball, but a bit of a wry smile as he brings it back, Ricky. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of camaraderie with the two, uh, two opposition players. Nothing wrong with a bit of sports and chip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's a good throw in uh, for Kashmir. And he'll drive it straight back upfield, and Kashmir just looking to push forward. And some good pressure here in the middle as Mitchell comes through and just tries to disrupt it a bit. And, Davidson was equal to the task. And we're just seeing that ball skid on a little bit. It's just sort of um, starting to change the way the game's going. Yeah, I think the surface is just copying a little bit of this rain that's slightly falling now, but uh, still a bit of wind coming, blowing left to right and in favour of Kashmir. Uh, the wind behind their backs slightly, but uh, just a little bit of drizzle. 
ball will shift pretty quickly. A bit more difficult for uh, defenders to stay on their feet. And we're just waiting for the throw in as it's delivered. And Kashmir looked to go into the middle of the field there. As the Wanderers player just finds his own man. And it's just a little bit scrappy as we wait for those players to form up again. And a good chance here for Wanderers. And they've had some good work on attack, and that's not a bad ball through from Derek Tiku. But again, Tung just tidies up and fires it in, and Mitchell clears. So it's not a bad ball from Davison, but it's been all the way through, and it'll be an easy one to clean up there for, for the goalie. Clears that ball out and um, Taguchi there may have just um, overrun it a little bit. As the Wanderers players just fire a good ball into that corner and it'll be picked up nicely and it's not a bad ball in there. Wanderers players following that up though and it's easy for Knight as again he comes down the right hand side and Kashmir looked to clear that down but it might just be a little bit long and Davidson has time to use his that's goalie. And he hasn't quite got a hold of that. And the ball will sit in the middle. It's a little bit dangerous here for Wanderers. They'll need to clear it. And the ball sits at the back now. There's the Kashmir player. I think it's Boyce. It's been solid out there on that left-hand side. Comes Toguchi. Game Wanderers with some space in the middle. But a bit of a miscommunication now. And they'll need to regroup. Kashmir looked to build up down this right hand side. And the game's just lost a little bit of shape there for a minute, Ricky. Yeah, it's just dropped, dropped off a touch, and I think um, just for both sides now, just to regather, get a little bit more composure, get back on the ball, to start to dictate the game a little bit more. But uh, yeah, Kashmir have been very strong. I think Swartz and Stora, who are the two central defenders, have uh, done a very solid job. Uh, Knight and Goal just commanding and and they're coming to let crosses when he's needed to, but uh, just a little bit tidying up, I think, across both sides now. Yeah, and both teams just having a chat now to each other. The ref just had a bit of a word there. It looked like with Joshua Sigley. I'm not sure what went on there, but he... I think it might have been a shoulder or an elbow sort of in the back. That's, uh, it was definitely a free kick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just a little late one coming through, and uh, again, just the referees doing their job. Yep. So everyone's on the same page now as a sits here with Togoshi he's got a powerful kick so he looked to whip it in somewhere around the outside of that box as the Kashmir players wait for the ball and it finds some feet but Wanderers excellent work there and they get rid of it early and some good work there from Wanderers as they build up nicely and fire that ball into the into the middle, still looking to build, and there's some space there for the Wanderers players. Now yeah, they just give away a little bit of position. But some good signs there for Wanderers. Yeah, just looking for that extra player now. I think once they retain position again at the back off a Kashmir attack, but they're just now looking for perhaps another midfield player that they can link up with, and then look to play that second ball in behind yeah. to either Tiku or, or to um, Xavier Pratt. And Wanderers look to get rid of that there again out of the box, but it's been cleared well. Um, some good pressure here from Kashmir. And they look to build up again. Looks like Stora with the ball as he throws in. And Wanderers just getting a foot in there and disrupting, so they'll look to come out. And Kashmir to throw in and some good work there from Wanderers and I think we'll see uh, likewise a free kick and there's a yellow card the first yellow card and it looks like it's for a bit of chat he'll be disappointed with that Ricky yeah like I think you always say to uh, from a coaching point of view to the players look, you're not going to get any advantage by 
by having too much of a comment. I think Corey Mitchell's probably copped that again from the referee. And uh, sometimes, you know, to be fair, I like to see that. That'll settle things down, hopefully, and uh, players will understand how to move forward. Well, he was quick to get it out, Andrew, so um, like you say, Ricky, hopefully that settles things down a little bit as the goalie, Matthew Oliver, has a huge kick into Kashmir's territory now as Wanderers with a bit of a chance, just building up slowly outside Kashmir's box. And there's a nice little chip in, but again, he's equal to the task. Golly D Knight, and he had one real little hiccup today, one little heart flutter. As Kashmir build up through Coglin. And Wanderers again, just making a nuisance of themselves down that right hand side. Yeah, just looking to keep the pressure there, and I think. Um you know, once Kashmir received the ball and they were defending third, that Wanderers are really keen to press nice and high, trying to winning it back nice and early as they've done again here. And again, Wanderers with an opportunity. Uh, got some well cleaned up the air and it'll come to Tongue down this right hand side and he's had a little bit of a run. And he's managed to win the ball. Again, played well. And they go square and they'll find themselves with some space down the right hand side as they come down there. That's some good interplay. And we've got a man down in the back play in the Wanderers side. I'm not sure if referee Lambert's seen this, but we're playing on at the moment as the ball sits with Wanderers. As is just a little bit, and they've done the right thing, it's been kicked out now, so we'll, we'll come back to uh, so have a look. But Paul Clout down here on the left hand side, and I think um, not often you get the players sort of yelling out to get some attendance onto the pitch. So, uh, so clearly around the leg uh, area from an issue point of view, but uh, hopefully nothing too uh, serious. You see the trainers on now. Having said that, Tommy Semi is being prepared on the sideline, so uh, sit tight. Here comes the PNG Express. Well, looking forward to seeing this man on the pitch, and um, it's just, well, it's a shame for, uh, for Paul. Looks like a, a hammy, possibly. Yeah, it looks uh, like a hamstring. He's sort of clutching that on the way out. He jogs off slowly, but uh, certainly grabbing hold of it. So, uh, I think if you're Kale Herbert at this stage, you're not too worried. I mean, you're feeling a bit for Tommy, but you're looking for, I'm sorry, um, for Clout, but you're looking forward to seeing Semi out there, and it might just be the little spark they need. Yeah, look, he's. Um, he can be rapid from a pace point of view, so uh, certainly a fantastic player to, to be able to uh, to bring off the bench. As Wanderers look to build up Davidson, and easily defended there from Kashmir. Not a bad hitter, as you can hear the contact just in front of us, there's some good tackling going on now, as Wanderers again look to go square. And it's a good ball, they find themselves with some position and some space. It's Kashmir look just to close that down. Wanderers with some space and they've got some players square if they can find them. And just a little bit scrappy on this left hand side. And there's a little bit of a collision and Andrew Lambert says We'll have a free kick and Wanderers will win it. Well, it looks like, is that Matheson down there? It's uh, Matheson and uh, Mark Jones on the right hand side there, just getting into a little bit of a tangle and uh, as you say, referee brings it to a halt. Yeah, he's not having any of that today. But good signs, Matheson gets to his feet again. It's been lively, it's been competitive and I think, uh, you know, we are in a quarter final of the Chatham Cup, so uh, it's good to see the intensity of the players today. That's right, it's a lot on the line, and um, this is the furthest Wanderers have travelled in the Chatham Cup, I believe. Yeah, I think it is. So, um, yeah, a lot riding for them today. If they could uh, secure a semi final berth, it would be a fantastic year for them. And as we see again, Wanderers building up, and they're playing like they've been here before as they have to build up just outside Kashmir's box, but again, Kashmir just used. Used the ball well, and as it sits here with Taguchi in the middle, and he's a good little run from him as he controls the ball. A tumble and back play. Matheson again on his 
on his off his feet and a good kick there and just a bit of a hush over the crowd as Matthew Oliver fingertips it. Yeah, it was Coughlin <laughs> coming forward and I think he saw Matt Oliver sort of well in advance outside of his six yard box and I think he fancied the chip. <laughs> and uh, Matt had to go fully extended just to uh, secure the ball. I think I have to follow up the rugby highlights and the football highlights in this game actually because there's been quite a few of them so far. <laughs> And I'm sure Matthew, after the match, will say he had that completely under control. It was never an issue. Correct. <laughs> As the ball comes to the back now through D Knight, as the winds just drop, but it's still a good kick now as he finds Davidson, and Davidson equal to the task, and we'll, we'll see a throw on halfway. Gives me a look to take it quickly, and we used to Gucci. He's very busy today. As we see, there's a bit of a scramble in the middle now. Taguchi fires it out. It'll be a good run as Matheson chases it down into that corner. And it's a well-weighted kick. And he's got a bit of time and he's found his back partner there. And it's a good build-up. And they fire it in and it's not a bad hitter there. And it's come through number 10, Coughlin. Yeah, you can see the, ball, uh, the, the play building down that left-hand side again. Matheson not afraid to be attacking the Hamilton defenders but checks back this time and, and crosses deftly to the middle of the uh, penalty box, Hamilton penalty box for the advancing Coughlin who just gets inside Mark Jones on this occasion and finds his header nestling in the back of the net to give Kavishim a 1-0 advantage. Yeah it's a good build up and um, there was some good work in the midfield then from Taguchi, he just managed to hold the ball up just long enough for his forwards to get into the right areas and then he drove into that right hand uh, left hand corner, so um, a well weighted little pass there and the rest is history as Matheson fired in that ball as Wanderers look to strike back and they'll uh, start by firing it back into the middle and that's where they've enjoyed their build up today coming down this right hand side and that's where they've been strong as the ball sits at the back now and okay again through Davidson he's been strong on that left foot as he drives forward and there's a good ball in and an early touch uh, the semi be watching him closely, number 13, Tommy Semi, who's come on to replace Clout. And again, Davidson didn't quite get the touch he wanted on that, but it'll be cleared nicely now as Luke goes square. And his force telling him, pleading with him to go to the left hand side, and he has, and didn't quite find his player, but again, not a bad ball through, and Wanderers putting some pressure on. It's a good clearance and a big clearance, but returned nicely. And some strong challenges in the air. As the ball sits at the back there, and Sammy just happy to pass it back. Wanderers is building well again. And some good interplay there, Ricky. Yeah, it's been good, and I think um, you know, with Sammy coming on now, he'll look to probably play a little bit more century now with. Taiku with uh, Xavier Pratt just having that little bit more flexibility to play slightly wider at times. If you're in the Wanderers team, who, who are your leaders out there? Who are you looking to get a bit of influence from? Oh, I think you've got you know, Xavier Pratt, Josh Signey, Derek Taiku as the captain. Um, I think just generally around the, the pitch now, you're looking for that uh, little bit extra information coming. Um, like I say, it's been end to end. It's been a, it's been a good quarter final match to date. So, uh, Certainly a lot more to come, I would say, at this stage. You see Semi behind the ball, but it'll just be a flick on in, and it was a good option. Uh, Derek Tiki just couldn't quite get enough on it as it flicks down past the right hand upright. I think it's only the second goal kick of the game, actually. I think most of them have gone to the keeper themselves. Yeah. So, you know, the, the kicking's been quite accurate. Which is a good positive so far. <laughs> Other than the scoreline for you, Ruggie. <laughs> As Knight looks to clear the ball off his own line, he drives it low and hard, and it's returned with a bit of velocity as well. And we'll see that just flick out, a little bit scrappy there. Kashmir again looked to build up on this right-hand side. And the rain stopped, and the wind's calmed down, the sun's come out a little bit, so the conditions have improved. 
Wanderers with the ball, just looking to clear their line. There's some good contact there from the Kashmir player, and there's been a call, and Andrew Lambert's got his arm up, but looks like we'll have a throw in now. It's awarded to Kashmir. And it's not a bad ball in, and Mitchell just looks to distribute now, but again, building up Wanderers, and that's a nice little switch there from Wanderers as they come up the right-hand side. Game good play out on that left hand side and he's had a strong game so far. So he just feeds that ball back again. Yeah, Corey Mitchell did very well in there for Cashmere. Just sitting in, looking to pick up any of the loose play, winning all the tackles. And again, his, his timing of his runs going forward has been very impressive as well. And that's a not a bad little ball through there from Tang as he finds his forward partner and again goes for the back heel something a little bit tricky but he's just lost the ball and he wins it back but there's no one there so a little bit scrappy uh, Kashmir managed to get themselves into a good position there but just a little bit loose with the ball at the end there yep just again coming down the right hand side but done well on both both flank areas today so far Kashmir and uh, you know, tongue down this side with Matheson down the other side Gucci operating a little bit more centrally now and behind Coughlin, but uh, he's certainly been a big threat to it. Yes, Wanderers just lose it in the middle now, and we see the ball just with Kashmir as they fire one through, but it's a loose one into the box, and Wanderers equal. Just to the back now, Matthew Oliver with the ball, but a little run there, and Tung making a use of himself to Gucci in the middle. Wanderers will bring it out though on their favourite right hand side. And just looking to, as he walks over that ball, and a little bit of tricky play there from Semi. And just sitting with Davidson again out here on the left hand side. And brave defence there from Kashmir as he wears one in the back, but he'll wear it like a badge after the game, I'm sure. Wanderers just building up again with the ball, enjoying a little bit of position at the moment as it sits with Sammy, the PNG player, as he comes through the middle. And it's an educated pass the across here. Get in the box. Jones looks to drive into the box. Oh, and fires not a bad left footer there, Ricky. Yeah, good attacking play there. And again, Sammy just linking up, getting Mark Jones into a wide position, attacking the fullback, looking to get that early cross into the box. But uh, gets a corner, so an opportunity here. Set play for, uh, for the Hamilton Wanderers. What will the Kashmir team know about uh, Tommy Simi? Uh, well, a lot of them are the Canterbury players from the Summer League, so they'll certainly know uh, a lot about them. <laughs> well, there's a good ball in there, and it's cleared, sitting just on the outside of the ball as Mitchell looks to clear it, and he's done so well. Whether the ball will stay in, and it does, um, but equal to the defence, and that's some good work from, it looks like Davidson who's come across. And there's been a yellow and a late foot, but Davidson did well there. It was a strong tackle, but he's got straight to his feet to his credit. Yeah, no, he's done well out of him, but I think, um, you know, just another highlighting again. I think Tom Swartz very committed in everything he does, and, and you applaud that. But I think this time just probably coming into the tackle off his feet and uh, just for that foot raised, the referee quite rightly is reaching for the yellow card. So the two yellows now as we draw closer to the half-time break. Wanderers with the ball. And they look to go square through Davidson. He controls it well. It's just behind him a little bit, but he's drawn the player in and he's found his front forward. And that's 20. Derek Tikau and again he goes back to Davidson. There's some good Good connections through the backs and the forwards here playing well some good confidence and it's a great little ball in and Simi will find himself on the ball as he looks to drive in he's some great little play just perhaps taking it one too many there and some good work there as Kashmir just clear it back up to halfway as Coglin looks just to flick it on and Kashmir take the easy option there and they'll just take it and so that was on the left hand side. 
good pressure now as Wanderers again start to build up as the sun comes out and you can just see the shadows on the field, the conditions have definitely improved. Yeah, no, it's great. As you say, the sun's out, nice and warm. The wind's died down as well, so uh, every opportunity for the players to get the ball down and, and shift it quickly. Uh, Luki and Davidson just connecting well here, He's playing well. And Paul's seen some space and that's a great kick out because he needs to control it well and he has as he looks to come to the top of the box. And that's a great ball in, he's found some space and he has a shot. And equal to the task Knight. Some good keeping there but good chances there for Wanderers, Ricky. Yeah, look, a great run. Xavier Pratt this time getting down the right hand side, linking up with Derek Taiko in the box who spins and turns and gets a shot away with the keeper, Dan Knight, just right there to uh, recover safely. But uh, just running down now, probably a couple of minutes to go in this half. And uh, even contest, but uh, certainly Kashmir with their noses in front with a very, very good goal. Yeah, Kashmir have played well, they'll be happy with their first half performance. I have to say, Derek Taiko plays with a, a lot of passion. And been pretty nuggety out there. He looks like he'd be a bit of a character to hang out with. Yeah, no, good, good guy, Derek. Probably, uh, probably just a real um, easy go guy. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, quite a talent, and uh, certainly uh, one of the more interesting players for uh, for the Wanderers side. As again, they look to clear the ball off the line, and as we speak of him, he gets the ball now and fires a good little pass in. As the exciting Tommy Semi has the ball at his feet. And Kashmir know they're in a bit of trouble here as they look to bring players back and that's a fantastic shot. He just hasn't quite got it on the right side of the post there. And um, I think Knight will be happy there. He might have got off the hook. <laughs> yeah, look, a great chance there as the ball gets fed through to Tommy Simi one-on-one and uh, that's certainly what he likes to enjoy. Probably just takes his first touch a little bit away from goal and, and just denies himself that, that option and, 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 and angle to be a little bit better. And, uh, just gets a little bit tight as he rifles it into the side of the net. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll be certainly something I think the Kashmir team will talk about at half time. Um, that certainly some exciting play looking up between those two players now. As Adam Lambert says, we'll have a free kick and we'll see the ball with Mitchell now. And no, he'll leave it behind. And I think that's Field. He says. We'll start proceedings again, and it's not the greatest little kick, but it won't matter as referee Adam Lambert blows for half time, and it's been an exciting half. And any comments you'd like to make, Ricky? No, I think it's been good. I think plenty of energy. Game certainly started off very vibrant. Both ends sort of, uh, both teams certainly uh, wanting to attack. Um, I think it just took a little bit of time. I think midway through probably went a little bit um, rusty, if we can say that, but. Uh, you know, both sides look to get back into their patterns. Kashmir attacking very well down both flanks, and uh, Hamilton looking to move, you know, one or two extra players forward and create an opportunities as well. So probably very tight at this stage, but as we say, a, a good goal from Coughlin um, at, a, at a crucial stage just to put their noses in front going into the half break. Well, there you have it, guys, and we'll go to the break now, and we'll see you shortly. Um, thanks for having us here at the Chatham Cup quarterfinals. I'm Nicholas Shostom with Ricky Herbert and Bevan Jenkins. Thank you.
uh, welcome back to the Chatham Cup quarterfinals at Pirate Stadium and we're seeing Wanderers here on the left hand side, Cashmere on the right. My name's Nick Shoston, I'm sitting here with Ricky Herbert and Bevan Jenkins. Welcome back Ricky. Yeah, thanks very much Nick. Yeah, looking forward to the second half. And Wanderers start with the ball and they're just happy to sit at the back here. You know, a little bit of the wind's picked up here so look for Wanderers to have a little bit of an advantage here now with the wind behind them. It's had a little bit of rain during the break but it's settled down again now so it could just be a bit slippery so much of the same that we saw in the first half and Wanderers just with the ball just happy to build up down the right hand side and what are you expecting to see from Kashmir in the second half? Um, I think they'll be um, you know, looking to stay organised, they were good in the first half and uh, just to sort of get their rhythm going nice and early in the second half to, uh, to say they've got their football in the game with scoring a good goal and uh, I'm sure they'll want to uh, keep looking after the ball, keep as much possession as they possibly can and uh, continue to create opportunities. As you see an early chance there and it just flies over the top of Matheson and finally cleared now from Wanderers but Takaguchi and Matheson really chance and Wanderers using that win now looking to clear and a little bit of sorting going on early into the second half um, but the referee Andrew Lambert says we'll have none of that as he has a quick chat to Signey and it's not the first time he's had a chat to him today yeah no just on the touchline here in the first half wasn't it just a <laughs> late challenge and uh, just a reminder from the referee on uh, what's acceptable and what's not but um, yeah, another little bright start to the game Cashmere now in uh, position of all the free kick just within their own half you see the Cashmere players just shuffling outside the box now and the ball's with tongue so it's going to look to whip it in but Matheson just swing to the left hand side but he chooses to go to the far side as they're calling but Swartz with the ball now strong player and it's whipped in, and it's not a bad cross there. I think that was Mitchell, number 17, with the cross. Yeah, nice early delivery coming in from Corey Mitchell, and uh, just testing the Hamilton uh, defenders nice and early as we see Knight come advancing out of his goal just to clear the danger. And we spoke about that briefly just during the break, Ricky. Um, Cashmere defensive line is going to have to be a bit more aware with a bit of wind now into their face. Yeah, we've certainly got the four seasons in one day, haven't we? And uh, the wind's picked up again, and uh, that will favour Hamilton, just as far as uh, that uh, reasonably strong wind into their backs. But uh, I'm a little worried, guys, being an Auckland this morning, I might have brought it with me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think you probably have, but to be yeah. fair, for a couple of weeks it's been uh, chopping and changing down here. Nothing good comes from Auckland, as we know. As Kashmir flick it through and Matheson's on the end of that now. He's under a bit of pressure, uh, but he's got himself into a good position. He just couldn't quite connect, but Kashmir still with the ball as they work it through Coughlin. And he finds himself inside the box, but some good, brave defending there. And I think the Wanderers back line will be happy with that. Yeah, Coughlin, very dangerous when he gets into that front oh, third of the pitch. Very lively and uh, again taking on the two Hamilton Wanderers defenders. and. Uh, just on point, not getting the end product he wanted, but uh, ends up with a corner. Don't worry folks, I'm still on the scaffold. <laughs> Slight technical difficulty there, but we're back. And we'll see Taguchi with the ball. And he'll be looking to whip it in from the right hand side. You've got Matheson in the box there, and he's just jostling for a bit of position as the ball comes in now. And the keeper's gone down, but it's been cleaned out nice by Wanderers. And we've got a player down in the box. As the ball sits now with Semi at the back, but we're going to come back and referee Andrew Lambert's called for the support staff to come onto the field. And it looks like number five, the uh, store is down there, so we hope he's okay. Again, just that early decision by the referee, well done, just to get the uh, medics on. Again, looks like another head knock from the store. Now the ball was fired in from Taguchi and it was a well weighted ball and the keeper went down and as the body's cleared fortunately Stora was just left on the ground and Andrew Lambert stopped proceedings. Just as a um, public service announcement folks 
here in the Hamilton and you're wanting to get into filming sport, um, do get in touch with me, um, or the Wanderers football as well, um, they're definitely one of the clubs, but um, got contacts if you, it's, it's not that hard to do, um, it's, it's easy to learn as you go, um, Ricky, and I mean, clubs appreciate it, don't they? Yeah, absolutely, I think any sort of social communicating, getting out, getting the sport around, um, and, and just connecting with people that can uh, access it very freely, but uh, yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying it today. Thanks for the opportunity. No, thanks for coming, mate. <laughs> and some good signs here. Looks like Storr is just starting to get to his elbows there. He hasn't moved far yet, folks, but good signs that he's... Just a bit of movement. And as we just wait for the play to begin again, see players just trying to keep warm. There's a bit of a wind coming through. There's the weather just closes again and there's a pretty good crowd here as we look around the ground should be a few celebrations at the Hamilton Wanderers Club down here at Pirate Stadium so like Bevan said if you are in the area and you've got some spare time there's still 40 minutes or so to go Chatham Cup quarterfinals and it looks like he'll leave the field and that's a shame but we'll carry on now as we get underway and again the ball sits at the back here and it looks like Davidson has been busy in the first half and Wonder is just happy to switch again and uh, using the ball well some quick interplay here and, and some good chances here as they build up there's been a shot and they called for the handball but the ref will have nothing of it and Taguchi with the ball just happy to settle things down as it goes out to Tang and he'll drive the ball up into that wind and it's a good clearance and we just looks like a blood nose for the cashmere player that's left the field so you see in the background there he's just doing some running repairs and we may see him return to the field as Wanderers is built up on this right hand side and some good little interplay there as Matheson tries to make a nuisance of himself and as cashmere look to defend and they'll defend well but some good play there as number five Philip Paul comes in and controls that ball well. Put Stora back onto the pitch now for uh, Cashmere. Oh, that's good to see. We don't like to see players go off injured, but he takes his place again in the back line and he's easily recognisable. You can see the tissues as he just adjusts it. And he could be a little bit ginger there, Ricky, for the first few minutes. Yeah, I think just uh, just that full pace of the ball into uh, into his nose. So uh, some bleeding there, but uh, all blocked up and ready to go again. And they build him tough down in Canterbury. As Wanderers find themselves in position again inside their own half as they look to go square. And Davidson again with that educated left foot. He's been good today on that left-hand side. He's It'll call for a pull on the shirt and he'll get it. And a little bit of interplay between the players, but Andrew Lambert says, come on guys, let's just carry on. And Wanderers players just sort of lining up now uh, outside the box, marshalling his troops number 22. As the ball just fires off and we'll see a goal kick there as Kashmir clear the ball. But um, Knight, goalkeeper, having some firm work to this back line there, Ricky. Yeah, look, I think it was a good ball in from uh, from wide on the left-hand side for the Wanderers. And I think uh, Philip Paul this time just getting across. And I think Knight feeling that the defenders let him run free. And uh, he'll be looking for that to be tidied up on the next occasion. And he's been good at the back today, Swartz, he's a, a pretty large figure of a man and he's had a good game so far, likes to throw his weight around. Yeah, very solid, well organized, gets the team organised, leads by example and uh, so very committed in everything he does. And as Mitchell tidies that up, Casimir looked to build again through the right hand side and some good defence there from Wanderers. Some silky skills sees them with the ball and they make a good run and it looks like Semi up that left hand side and he'll be looking to find his friend in the middle there and Derek Tuki got himself into a good position but he just couldn't link with him 
and some strong defensive work there. So a little bit exciting there as we see the uh, Tommy Semi come on. Yeah, probably just try to need to get him a little bit more isolated. I think when you get him in wide positions, he gets a chance to run at players and senses that open spaces in behind the defenders. He can be a real threat. So uh, I'm sure Kashmir have, have looked at that, and uh, no doubt they'll be looking to put one, if not two, defenders around him. And as we see, Kashmir just building up down that left-hand side. Um, but the ball's been won back by Wanderers, and it's just a bit scrappy there as Matheson contests the ball. And Wanderers will come up with it down this right-hand side. And again, just happy to look to go back and use the wind and the big boot there. And that's a good kick. And it'll find its way right down to his opposite number 22, Knight. Just a bit of a feeling process again, similar to the first half. It's been a little bit scrappy, so the teams will be looking to build up and build some confidence. Both sides, their structure hasn't changed. Um, still the same shape. Kashmir with a 4-3-3, operating with a, a holding midfield player and two more advanced ones. Trying to stretch the Wanderers back three with uh, three attacking players. And they are putting a lot of pressure on that Wanderers back line, and in particular Taguchi has made a nuisance of himself today, he's everywhere, he's a live wire. Yeah, look, yeah, very good, and I think uh, from side to side he's operated down both lanes, so yeah, certainly very good. And as we see boys throw the ball in and look to Taguchi, and there's a bit of contact in there. And as Wanderers will look to clear it off their own line again. And again, Oliver finding himself in a little bit of a curious position there, but he's cleared it well, and Wanderers just have a little bit of time now on this left-hand side, and they use it well. Some good interplay from Wanderers as they build up. And again, Taguchi getting in there, working well with his counterpart Mitchell in the middle, but here's the build up we've been waiting for as Semi moves in, and it's a good little wide pass if he can link up now, and that's a good interplay there as Mitchell comes in and gets a good foot in. The Wanderers still with the ball, and they found themselves in a good spot. Can they finish? And oh, Semi, it's a good shot there. A big right foot comes through. May have taken a deflection. We'll just wait to see. Yeah, certainly was field. The Kashmir player just getting an absolutely timely challenge in there as Wanderers link some excellent passes together, get the ball into the box, and square across to Tommy Semi to finish. And field just throws himself into the challenge and gets the uh, the safety. The ball going over the top and uh, it's a Hamilton Wanderers corner. Yeah, well, Carol Herbert will be happy with that. Uh, the injection of Tommy Semi has certainly been exciting and they just seem to have a little bit more excitement and electricity up the front as it's whipped in to the back. And again, it sits with Wanderers as they look to build up and they flick one back in again. It's a good head and it's just going outside that left hand uh, upright. I think uh, Black will be happy with that. Sorry, Knight. And that's not a bad head there, number 22. Uh, yeah, Luki. Adam Luke coming up Luke. from the back. Uh, his height and his presence there off a deaf cross coming in from Mark Jones on the left hand side. And Luke just looking to get a little bit better contact, just skims off the top of his head. So we see the ball fly past the right hand post. Yeah, good signs there for Wanderers. Uh, the ball comes through Boys now at the back. He's been busy and strong, and again, Puts himself into some good space and they haven't used it this time as we see the ball fired across. The Wanderers are equal to the task though. As they look to clear it and they'll have to fire it out. And we'll find ourselves with the Wanderers deep in their half now with a throw. And as they look to go back and just hold the ball. And again it's with that man, Luki. And it's a strong challenge there but... Referee Andre Lambert says play on and it sits at the back and some good interplay again and these two up front now are making some good yards as he gets the penalty and Derek Tuka will get the looks like he's going to get the penalty and doesn't look like Togoshi is very happy with that himself and Matheson getting stuck in there yeah a few opinions flying around and I think with the Kashmir players they were saying well 
Perhaps there could have been a free kick for them a little bit further up the pitch, some 10, 15 seconds before, but uh, referees given the one here for Hamilton Wanderers, which is again is in a, is in a good position, and uh, Josh Signey um, has scored from here um, through the summer league, so uh, see how we go. Number 19. Yeah, he's just got a deflection as Taguchi dives in. Live wire. It's a good strike. I think Sigley loses across now. He might take the corner also. As we see, Wanderers just drift into the penalty area now. Kashmir, some heavy man on man marking there as it flies across to the back of the box, similar to just before. And Kashmir clear it well as they'll look to push out. Wanderers players aren't clearing the box too quickly though. And he's just used a shoulder there and now the Wanderers team find themselves in their own half and Davidson goes square. Morris again with the right foot pushes back. As Taguchi and his opposite number Sigley just scrap for the ball but he's a good chance now as number 10 Coughlin fires one into the middle. There's a good chance here and and he's nailed it, and it looks like Tan scored the second one for Kashmir. And that's a good ball in. Links up nicely with number 32, Tang, and they find themselves two in front. Yeah, it was an excellent break there from uh, Kashmir. As Hamilton amounted some good pressure and had a lot of possession, but they gave the ball away a little cheaply here down the right-hand side for us. We see an excellent ball get played through the middle of the Hamilton Wanderers' defence. Free to the advancing Kashmir player who just travels forward and within a stride just buries it past the advancing Matt Oliver to make a 2 0 Kashmir. And Wanderers won't be happy with this. They were hard on attack. It's a real switch in play, and Kashmir have come up on the right side of that. Some good shot there, a good strong shot there from number 32, Tang. It's a strong game and he'll be happy with that. So goals now to Mitchell and Tung. We see Hamilton just uh, ring the changes with Owen Comba coming on and uh, Jordan Shaw coming on at the back for the Wanderers with Philip Paul being replaced and Mark Jones. And again, Wanderers kick off, and it's through Sammy, and he's just happy to feed back again to Morris. And they'll move up, and it looks like the new player gets an early touch there out there on the left-hand side. And some changes there, as Davidson perhaps moved up into the midfield. Yeah, so uh, Adam Davidson's moved to a wing-back position on the left-hand side, as Wanderers stay with the back three, this time of Shaw, Luke and Dylan Morris. Uh, Adam Davidson will go down the left-hand side with Tommy Semi down the right-hand side. So some small changes there. Once you hear there from Ricky Herbert. And they hunt again as they build up on the outside of the box here. And Wanderers were looking good here not long ago. And again, they're straight back in there to their work. But it looks like Taguchi will come out and there's just a little... Referee says play on. He's not too worried about the attack. And we see Wanderers now come onto the right hand side of the box as they look to build up. Uh, but that's a great bit of defensive work there by Boys. And a good clearance saves Wanderers look to come back in. Ball now is semi. And there's some good work. But, uh, we've got a player down. It looks like number 16, Angus, is just taking a blow. And we'll just wait for the uh, medical team to get onto the field there as there's a couple of players asking for some assistance and it looks like number 16 Angus is down for Kashmir and number 17 Xavier Pratt just asking for a bit of support there too so yeah I think it was probably once the play was operating down the left I think two players probably spun and collided into each other I think it's like Xavier's taken a knock in the knee field uh, probably a little more damaged and uh, him just holding his face yeah it looks like Pratt's definitely nursing a bit of a stinger there on the end of the knee and hopefully he can run that off 
Yes. Not See. sure there was anything in that, Nick. Just uh, <laughs> probably a little bit of off the ball, but uh, certainly no malice in that. A good chance for the players to have a breather and regroup. I think quite a physical game, though. So the um, physios and medical staff have had something to do in this game. <laughs> they probably appreciate getting the odd run onto the pitch, you know, just to feel <laughs> a little more part of it. Yeah. Justify their existence. So see number 22 just um, running back into the box. The keeper, Knight, he's had a pretty good game. He's just going to come and give his fellow teammate a bit of water. And he's probably got something special in there, maybe a bit of Powerade or a bit of sugar and salt. Just telling the guys just to calm down. A bit of Avalon River water. <laughs> Avon River, sorry. Yeah, Not Avon. Avon River. <laughs> Might have some Waikato, Waikato River water in there, maybe. And we'll start up again now as Wanderers build up from the back and they look to go square and use that left hand side. They've done it well during the match. As Davidson looks to fire it back now and just a little bit of pushing and shoving going on out there but he's stayed on his feet as they look to build up and some good early touches out there for the new left back. He's come on. As again they build through and that's a good ball and Oh, Mitchell making a nuisance of himself in the middle. He's been playing well. He's fired a good pull through and he's linked really well there with Coglin. He's just come on and been playing some good football. And Andrew Lambert says, Look, we'll come back. A little bit of a foot through there, Ricky. Yeah, it's Coglin again, <laughs> just uh, causing some problems down the left hand side for Kashmir, right hand side for the Wanderers. Just uh, some silky schools and uh, just a training foot catching him. Providing Kashmir with a uh, free kick opportunity wide on the left hand side. Well, you, you alluded to it at the beginning, but Coglin, Mitchell, and Tang have, have some good players. They've certainly made themselves, you know, very strong in the match, very busy. As there's some good defensive work there, and just as we say that, Kashmir again push in, uh, but it's a loose one there, and I think uh, Coglin will be a bit disappointed with that finish. As I was saying, the, yeah, the players you mentioned at the start, they certainly proved their worth. Yeah, just that uh, connection, I think, um, you know, playing through the summer together in the same uh, in the same league, they've got to know each other really well, and those combinations have certainly come to the fore today. And the Wanderers find themselves in another good position here as they look to build up. There's still plenty of time in the match, so the coaches will be looking for them to press forward and take any opportunity as there's a shot there and a good deflection and we see a good breakaway there with Kashmir Coglin moves up through that right side he's got support and it looks like Tagichi's with him but he just fires a soft one through which is easily picked up by Matthew Oliver at the back and not too much pressure on Oliver there okay. Wanderers just again happy to build up at the back there and using the ball well. They're just struggling with those last touches and it looks like that Kashmir side have strengthened up that back quarter. There's a lot of yellow players around that defensive side now. And they found some space out there on the right hand side though. And there's a good run here. Matheson's made a good run into the middle but looks like Tung just hasn't been able to link up. Down Coglin though, and that's a couple of good back heels and some expansive plays worked out well for them. And some strong defence at the back there has seen the pressure relieved. Yeah, Kashmir with a good little spell here, just managed to get themselves into the Wanderers half and just retaining possession of the ball, getting good support around as we see Adam Luque just get a timely challenge in for the ball to go out for a Kashmir throw in. But they've uh, certainly climbed on confidence after that second goal. So if you're Kashmir and you're two head up at the moment, are you looking to defend and see the game out? It is a Chatham Cup quarter final, or are you building up with confidence and looking to really just finish the game off maybe with another one? Well, I think look, they're very solid at the back, and I think the back four will probably sit, stay tight. Um, you know, you will see Tom Schwartz go forward for set plays, etc., and he does like to link forward when he's got a bit of time and space on the ball from the back. But uh, they'll be very solid and tight back there, I think sort of holding midfield player and then in front of that I think they're very good going forward they've got good alternatives and I think they'll still look to to keep and maintain the pressure on that Hamilton uh, defense as much as they can 
Just as we say that, Wanderers find themselves with a little bit of ball in a good position and they've got numbers forward and a good little bit of play there, interplay there between Semi and it looks like oh, it's a shot there from Tico but I didn't quite find the mark as we see a good run here from Tagichi as he brings it out but some good defence there from the number 8 and Lewis Reed. he's been solid all day far now where uh, Hamilton have to take that little bit more of a risk going forward and uh, just get some more numbers into that attacking third and just a little jump there from Semi so he wasn't happy with something but they'll take it quick and the ref just says play on guys as Boyce gets a little bit overzealous and some good little skills there in the middle there, shown by Coglin. He's been busy in the last few minutes, made himself a bit of a nuisance. As we see some good build up there, and number 20 goes down, and it's Derek Tiku again. And he wins the penalty. And you can just hear it out there, there's a little bit of noise coming from the players. So Andrew Lambert will have to take a bit of control and perhaps just slow it down and talk to the guys. Yeah, Tiku just on this occasion just holding himself up in the box and field uh, Angus sorry on this occasion just get himself a little bit too tight as uh, Tiku tries to roll him on the edge of the box and uh, Angus just coming through giving away the free kick and they've gone for Davidson with the left foot but just hasn't managed to swing it in there and it looks like they'll come back for a corner just updating the other Chatham Cup results going on at the moment. Uh, North Shore United 2 over Utaga University 1. Western Suburbs and Melville United are nil all at the moment. And Miramar Rangers 1 nil over Auckland City currently. So um, those are all the other quarterfinals going on. Thanks, Thanks Bev. Some interesting results. Thank you, Bevan. Uh, we see Wanderers. It's all Wanderers at the moment. And they're uh, building up well. But Kashmir Defence is just not letting them finish off here. And some good work there from Mitchell, just letting the ball and shielding it as it goes over. And he's had a strong game. He's certainly a contender for a player of the game. He's put his yeah. hand up. Yeah, look, he's, he's just sat in the middle of the park and he's just executed everything really well. One tackles, delivered safely uh, when in possession of the ball. And uh, as we see there, just getting back and putting in those timely challenges to uh, stop the flow of the Hamilton side. And Knight, the goalie for Kashmir, with that big boot, clears up to halfway, but Wanderers will win the throw. And again, they go on to attack now. And there's some space out here to the right-hand side if they use it. And they've switched again and gone back to the left-hand side. And they'll look to find the middle there, but it's a bit of a wayward kick. And it's been tidied up comfortably there by Kashmir. And just telling his boys just to get up the field a little bit. And it's a good nudge. Kashmir again looking to push out. And it's not a bad ball. It's a great nudge actually. He's pushed it right through there. And we'll see Matheson clean that up on the left hand side. And he's got some time. As he looks to go in. And that's not a ball. A great ball swung in there. It's, it's picked up nicely by Matthew Oliver though. Oh, and that's what that's what Kashmir can do, Ricky. They just build up so quick. Yeah, again, Matheson down this left hand side. He's, he's just got a nice turn of pace and uh, just drops the shoulder and gets around Dylan Morris on this occasion. Whoops one across with uh, Matt Oliver coming out safely, retaining possession. Well, he hasn't done a lot wrong, Matt Oliver. There's just been a couple of chances gone past him, but he's had a good game. As Boys looks to clear it, and it's a big left foot there, brings it up to halfway. But Mitchell again, right in the middle, as we spoke to before, gets stuck in, and some very good play there by Taguchi. He's been ever present today, he's quick, and he throws himself around. He's not the biggest person out there. No, he's been lively, isn't he? And I think a uh, good example there of shutting the ball down and. Uh stopping Hamilton from executing anything from coming from deep. Davidson with the ball, he buys it back. Davidson's had a good game today. He's worked well down his left-hand side. 
And as we see the ball come forward now through Jordan Shaw. And he looks to go down to the left, but just doesn't quite execute there and gives the ball away to Kashmir. He's a bit disappointed with that. And as we see him just move back out to his favoured left hand side. Kashmir with the ball. You can see Semi talking to his players now, trying to roll them up a little bit. So running with Pierce, the Kashmir player, I think he's uh, spitting, a, <laughs> spitting a bit of blood again, <laughs> yeah, the sound of things. He had that knock on the nose, and you know, sometimes, as we know, they just keep dropping away, but uh, just needs to change uh, a few of those tissues. Well, he's, he's a brave player, and as we see Kashmir again just clearing the line, and as you see Stora come off there to get his nose repaired, they just found him again. A bit like a Scott Sterling moment. And as we see Wanderer start to build up again, and it's a good little fake there. As we see, take to leave the ball behind, and he's great little pass through, and it's not a bad cross. There's a chance there, but the first control, the first touch, just didn't quite control it, unfortunately. And I think that was Davidson there on the outside of the box coming through. Yeah, coming down the left hand side, and I think it just dropped back, probably onto his non-favoured right foot, as he just takes a little bit of a heavy touch. Is it? Advances through to Kashmir uh, Keeper Knight. Well, if he had got that, I think he would have deserved it. He's had a big game down there. He can be happy with his performance so far. As Kashmir again relieved the pressure from their line. And their keepers really belting out the uh, instructions from the back now, Knight. As they build up again, as number 10 Coglin, he's been dangerous in the last few minutes. As he builds in and. Somehow he's managed to get there past Matthew Oliver. I'm not sure how he was closed down with two players, but that's a good right foot through, Ricky. Yeah, it's a good ball, and uh, again, it's that man Coglin, isn't it? He gets himself into a 1v1 situation, gets into a really tight position. I think that you'd be uh, just checking the keeper, Matt Oliver, getting beaten so close on the near post there, but uh, he's rifled that one into the uh, near side of the goal and uh, breaks away to celebrate on the far side of the pitch. As Kashmir score again and uh, lead comfortably now at 3 0. Possibly just a little, I mean, Rodgers, because of the score at the moment, having to play a bit more forward and just being caught out at the back. Yeah, I think they're, they're going to have to push forward, as you say, uh, Bev, and uh, look for that elusive goal to, to look to get themselves back into it. But uh, three very, very convincing goals to date for Kashmir. Yeah, well, Kashmir have played well, especially in the second half now, as we see the ball with Wanderers again, and they're looking to build up on that left-hand side. And some good skills there shown from Tico, but he's shut down. Tico, sorry, but he's shut down there, and it looks like, again, Taguchi. The ball. And as Wanderers look to hold their midfield, and there's some time here as they go down to the right-hand side, and it's a good ball. It's picked up nicely there by Morris. And he's got plenty of time to have a think about it. And he's happy to come back here as they look to build. They have players, and you can hear the Kashmir defence screaming at each other there to hold that line, and there's a bit of trust as it sits in the middle. Semi with the ball at his feet. Number 13 looking to build up. Again, some good little play there. But just a little bit fancy, and again they lose it. Back up to halfway now. And he's had a strong game, number 22, Adam Luque. Wanderers again. You can hear them talking to each other in the middle, and that's not a bad ball through. Just needs to control it. Semi with the ball at his feet. Coming in from that right hand side, and he's got into the box there, and it's some good keeping, equal to the task there. Knight with a good hand over the top. The yeah, excellent save by Knight as Semi cuts inside, tries to bend one into the far post as it takes a deflection and goes slightly higher as Knight gets up well to deflect it over for the corner. As we see Davidson and Taguchi fighting for the ball there. It's been won by Wanderers again as they look to build up. And they'll need to start think, taking some quick action here. It's the game starting to fade away. Some good work from Semi but he's shadowed over the ball by Matheson and a little bit of scrappy stuff on the sideline there as the sideline referee says, look, just calm it down, guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, so just remind folks that it's very normal to speak. So the ball sits with boys and he's looking to throw it in. Kashmir had the lead and it's 3-0. Wonders will be looking to get one to get back into this. I think statistically you'd be thinking Wanderers have spent the majority of the second half actually in Kashmir's territory but just those breakouts where he um, just let them down a little bit. Yeah, I think just uh, a couple of little defensive lapses there just to allow the Kashmir players to break so quickly and uh, find players unmarked. But uh, yeah, they've certainly had their fair share of play without really threatening to, uh, to get a good shot on target. And it's easy for Oliver at the back as he picks that up and looks to distribute out again through the strong play of Anim. Luke, he's been good today. And again with Wanderers just looking to build up inside their own half and a bit more pressure applied now from the Kashmir side. Um, but they're still not too keen to come out of their own half. Got a 3-0 advantage now as they just look to clear the ball off their line and start play just outside of the goal box here on the left hand side referee just getting himself in the way there and Andrew Lambert becoming the 12th player there for Wanderers and you can hear the coaching staff on the sideline now becoming a little bit more vocal there's a lot in this game here in the quarterfinals of the Chatham Cup Wanderers versus Kashmir from Pirate Stadium. And scores 3 0 in favour of Kashmir. Kashmir in the green and the yellow, Wanderers in the blue. And Wanderers with all the position at the moment as they look to build up and apply some pressure. And the ball sits with Semi, number 13. It's been good since he came on. and. Gucci just wins the foul. You think Kashmir just happy now just to sit back, stay organised, stay tight, just deny any spaces in between that uh, Hamilton may be able to break into and uh, they've probably sensed now that the finish line's not too far away. And uh, they'll be pleased so far with what they've uh, with what they've achieved. Yeah well they've come a long way and they've played well. It's been a strong effort from all the players on the field for Kashmir. As Knight looks to fire that ball deep up into Wanderers territory. And Boys returns the favour. Again, controlled well by Matheson. And a good clearance there. Uh, Lewis Reed, he's been pretty busy today. You can see him there talking to his defence. And you can hear the players stay focused. As the ball now throw in with Matheson and it's a good throw and he's found a little bit of space but Taguchi just couldn't link up or take the shot he just got a little bit in between and Wanderers look after the ball now and there's a bit of space for them now as they build up through the back again number 22 Luke out the ball it's been very solid today as he looks to drive forward and link up but there's some good work done in the middle there and it's that man Swartz and some silky play there and some good linking up there between Coglin and I think that was Matheson. Yeah, Matheson still with the ball now and it's just a little bit ugly there as Lewis Reed and Matheson get tied up. Get yeah, a little tangle down the left hand side here as you say Matheson and Reed, but uh, not a long in it. But a nice early uh, free kick here for Kashmir as they advance again. Well Coglin's been busy in this later part of the second half. It's almost like he's put the afterburners on and he seems to have taken the mantle, mantle from Taguchi who was everywhere in the first half and there's just a little tangle there um, as the referee comes inside and just makes sure everything's okay and it's waiting to see the player down as it could be Matheson and the referee just needs to take control here and just talk to the talk to the captains. It's been a good, hard, clean game so far, and I'm sure the teams will want to end the same way. Yeah, just a little tangle here, as you say, into the back end of the game, and sort of 
clash as we uh, see probably the third head knock in the game. Yeah, look, perhaps he just caught a little boot as I think the player tripped over him, so I don't think there was any malice in it, so just in, the, in, a, in a bad position. He's had a good game, Matheson, he's been pretty strong up on this left flank. Yeah, very bright, but I think he's, like I say, he's prepared to take people on, he's, he's got a little bit of pace and his quality going into the box has been very good again today. So some good signs here for Kashmir if they get through this, and it's looking likely um, they've put on a strong performance, so they'll be buoyed by this. And I think if you're Kashmir going into the semi-finals, um, you're not going to change too much. Yeah, and uh, with uh, a couple of Auckland sides still floating around in the, in the quarter-finals as we speak, and uh, I guess they'll be looking for a nice home match <laughs> in the next round if possible. As we see Matthew Oliver kick that ball out, and it's a decent kick right into the Kashmir goal area. But again, that defence strong now, and you can see five across the back there for Kashmir. It's a pretty staunch back line held together in the middle there from Swartz. And some good interplay there from the Wanderers players as Semi steps over it. And it's fired into the box, a good chance there, but Swartz equal to the task. He's very staunch there in a central defence as he marks up. And he's sticking with his man, Derek Tiku. As Boyce wins that ball after a heavy challenge and draws it out. And it's not a bad left foot, but it's cleaned up nicely by that man, number 22, Luca. He's been good at the back. A little bit of a challenge there coming from Coglin, but he's equal to the task. And a good ball in and he finds his man there. Good little run, Kashmir just find themselves under a little bit of pressure and some good play there and oh, good sliding defensive work there from Angus as he kicks that ball out and we'll see a, a corner and it's all attack at the moment. Yeah, it is now for the Wanderers, I mean 3-0 down, really chasing the game and uh, as I say, Kashmir happy to sit back and just soak up this pressure as we see the ball trying to be delivered into the box by Wanderers but again cleared safely by Kashmir defenders. Wanderers again building up. They've been steady in the midfield today. They've had some strong, strong plays through there. And it's just been that final pass. As again, a good shot, but good work there from Knight. And he's picked that up, and it's been a clean game from him. He'll be happy with how he's worked today. He had uh, possibly one little chance there with a fingertip one. But otherwise, it's been a good performance from the man at the back for Kashmir. And the ball sits with Coglin and he fires it through. Looks like we've had a little bit of a clean up there. There's a bit of tape on the chin of Matheson. And this will be a shirt change. Yeah, I think we have seen a shirt change. It's just customizer as well, Nick. I think he's gone from 19 to 9. That's okay. So we're still looking at Matheson out there. And number 9, it looks like he's just got a bit of a bandage on his chin. So he might have caught a sprig, I think, in that um, clash previously. Yeah, there's a good square ball. Sees Wanderers just start to work their magic down the right-hand side here. And good pressure again from that man, Taguchi. It's been ever present and a real thorn on the Wanderer side around that midfield. It'll be interesting to see the number of steps he'd done out there today. Yeah, been very busy, very active, very positive. But again, it's Wanderers with the ball and they're building up well. And it's a good clearance there from Boyce. And Boyce and Swartz working well together today in that back line. Wanderers again with the chance, and it's a great ball through. This is a good opportunity, and it's not a bad strike. And they've had a second go there, but again, just outside the right hand side. Some fast, fantastic work there from Knight, and it's a good opportunity there for Wanderers, perhaps one of their best in the second half. Yeah, on combat this time, just receiving the ball inside the box. Jinx inside, gets on his favoured right foot, tries to bury one across the. Uh, face of the goal but Knight equal to it palms it to safety as Dylan Morris comes in at the far post looking to uh, get some mileage off the rebound but uh, sees this shot again going to the side of the net and good work from Wanderers they've been hard on attack in the second half it just hasn't gone their way but we've certainly had a lot of possession 
As we see a change, and it looks like number 21 for Kashmir, um, Tyndall's just replaced Matheson, so he's just decided to give him a rest after that injury. They tried to bring him back on in the number 9 shirt, but taking the safe option of the replacement. As we see the new player just get nearly touched, number 21 there. And it's a good flick on there, great work from Kuglin as he finds that 21, he's straight into his action there. And he'll find himself in a good position in the box. But he just couldn't complete the skill and Paul sits easily with Matthew Oliver who looks to clear it straight back out to Davidson who's been busy out there on the left hand side. Looks like we've got six minutes extra time. Let me hear it folks, so six minutes of extra time. There's been a few stoppages in the game as umpire Andrew Lambert says we'll play on. And the ball sits in the middle with Coglin and he's got a man outside him if he wishes to use him, but he just holds up and beautiful little ball to Gucci. It's one on one. And some good play. Matthew Oliver didn't really find himself in a good position. He had to come out of his line, but to Gucci just equal to the task, taking it to the right hand side and towing it in there. Yeah, as we saw again, I think um free kick taken early by Kashmir deep in their half and the Wanderers players just not switched on on that occasion when the ball breaks freely and uh, Coughlin again getting the ball free in the middle of the park. The advancing uh, Taguchi just being able to take a touch inside the box and again just bearing it past the advancing Matt Oliver. Yeah, unfortunate for Matt Oliver. I mean, you could probably argue in his defence three of the four occasions have been a breakout from Kashmir where he's found himself isolated. Um, perhaps apart from that good header from Mitchell in the first half uh, the rest of them have gone against the run of play. Yeah, no, it's been uh, certainly a very effective way for, for Kashmir and they've, they've punished Wanderers again on that counter attack. Saying that and Semi says I'll do it by myself as he drives up really well all the way up into Kashmir's territory but he's just been clipped and finds himself just dispossessed as Kashmir looked to bring it back out and number 21, Tyndall's been busy since he's come on with a couple of good early touches and a nice drive down the left hand side. And we'll just see a little stoppage here, perhaps a change. And we're just waiting to see. But it looks like number 24, Donkers, is coming on for Kashmir. So they're just bringing a few changes. And we'll see number 32, Tong, leave the field. He's had a great game. He's been really busy, Ricky. He's a good player. Yeah, another one uh, operating very well down that right hand side and uh, you know, causing the Wanderers a lot of problems. Got an opportunity here just for the sub to come on. Just to offer a little bit, just as we uh, roll through with probably three or four minutes to play. So if you had to um, nominate perhaps a, a player of interest for man of the match, so where, where, where are you going at the moment? Uh, I think you've got to go with Coglin for me. I mean, I think it's more what he's contributed right around the pitch. I mean, he scored goals, he set things up, he's, he's been very effective in what he's done. But uh, give all credit to the Kashmir side, I think, right through the park. They've been very solid and safe and uh, certainly contributed to a, uh, a good performance. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Colin's been a good player. And I've also enjoyed some of the play from... Um, as we're just seeing free kick awarded here. We've almost finished, but I was going to say I've enjoyed Mitchell's play, number 17 for Kashmir as well. I think he's been ever present today. Yeah, very much so, and I think um, he's been pouring a lot through the summer league, and he's, he's very strong in that competition as well. But uh, today just anchored that midfield, done everything right, won a lot of the ball, shot play down when he's needed to, and uh, been very effective. Yeah. And likewise in the Wanderers team, who have you enjoyed watching today? Uh, look, I think it's, it's probably been a little bit of a mixed bag for them today, and uh, you know, I think uh, Derek Tyke, who's worked hard up front, Xavier Pratt's tried to get on the ball as much as he, he possibly can. Uh, Adam Davidson's had some good moments down the left-hand side for them, and uh, I think they're just, uh, you know, just going forward and creating those opportunities, and then getting hurt on the counter-attack, so uh, a little bit of a flip side for them today. Yeah, couldn't agree more. I really, actually enjoyed really what um, Davidson, um, Adam Davidson's had a strong game. Proud of himself out on that left side. He's got a good left boot. He's played well. As we just wait to see what's going on here, and it looks like we've got Knight looking to clear his line here as Kashmir. And Wanderers find themselves on the halfway waiting for that ball to arrive. And there's not too many minutes left in the game now, and the score is 4 0. 
They didn't reflect position and Wanderers have played well, but a few quick goals against the run of play have just seen Kashmir come up on the right side as Wanderers again look to build up and really has been the story of the second half. Again, uh, Philip Morris just getting down here, just advancing a little bit further forward from his from his deep defensive position, but just sees this one sail across the crossbar. And we just spoke about the man, but Coglin looks like he's been replaced, and number 25, Keynes, will come on. Yeah, again, look, a very good contribution from uh, Coglin and chance for uh, Keynes, is it, to come on and just uh, grab a a couple of minutes and uh, go through to the uh, the winning whistle for uh, for the Kashmir side today. And Kane straight away comes on and gets close into Adam Luki there. He's perhaps looking to interfere there. It's a, it's a little bit scrappy there as Kashmir looking to build up now. But it'll sit with Wanderers in the middle and a little bit of time there and Players to use, and they've come to the right-hand side well. It's just Simi. And Xavier Pratt with the ball. He's had a good game. Like you say, Ricky, they've just, just struggled just to link up in those last parts of the game here, yeah, those last facets. Yeah, just um, getting those goal-scoring opportunities coming a little more frequently, but uh, had a lot of the game. Oh. And again, another opportunity for Wanderers, but this just seems to be the run of play for them. Just can't quite get that last one to go in. And fortunate there for Knight as it takes a deflection. He makes a good save again, though. So he's got his body across and blocked it as Jordan Shaw breaks forward and looks to react on the rebound. But uh, again, the ball just whistles wide and uh, goes to safety. And Kashmir again under Knight get themselves to clear with a goal kick. So Knight with the ball again. He's had a good game as the players find themselves in the middle. And the sun's out now, and the weather looks great here, as you can see the shadows casting across the ground. And a little flick on now, and it's a good ball out to Semi out on the right-hand side. He's been busy in this last few minutes, as he gives himself an opportunity, but he's just muscled off the ball, and it looks like Swartz says he's going to use the, the big frame there, but no malice, and the, the pair get up. Semi looks like he just appealed to the uh, to the side there, but he didn't get what he was after, Ricky. <laughs> no, I think he was looking for the penalty, but uh, well defended by Tom Schwartz. Well, there you have it. Uh, the referee blows the whistle, and that'll be the end as the players come together. And